morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there goes the clock. I uh, did not time it that way. It's just a coincidence. This is what I was talking about. What was happening five years ago. Every time I push record, the clocks would start. I, maybe what I should do is become more conscious of the fact that... Just, just a minute. It, it only, it's only going to gong eight times. Okay, there, it's over. Yeah, uh, I guess what I should do is I should, I should check the clock and, and see, okay, it's, it's, it's one minute to eight. The clock is going to gong. Maybe I should just wait a minute or two, but I don't want to do that. I like to be, I like spontaneity or whatever you call it. Anyway, everything is exactly the same way, pretty much as the way I left it yesterday. I didn't clean up. My sawdust is still all over the place here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Now, I don't know if you can see it from your perspective, but there's something different about the model table. Uh, and uh, on your extreme left, you might notice that you can't see the spray booth. The spray booth is in the back room. Yeah, I, I actually did it. Uh, so I've, I've got to get the compressors back there too. I haven't got anything set up. I've come up with an idea. I was kind of worried about the fact that the the, that the Yamato table is only half the size of this one, but I've got a, I've got an idea that's it's going to work out okay. Um, we'll, we, we're going to have to spray today. Uh, okay, we, we've got we've got this piece here that we're working on. And, and what I want to do is, is spray the inside of it. And as long as I'm doing the inside of this one, may as well do the inside of the other five pieces, the same way we did the, the uh, uh, Steinle res on this one. So uh, that, that worked out really well. Also, I've, I'm finding that straining the paint before you use it, you, you just don't have any problems. Yeah, it, it, it seems to make a huge difference. Oh, one, one of the viewers made a very interesting comment. I don't know if we're going to get at it today, but he was saying that after, after you paint this, this piece here that, that has the uh, little, little cubbies on it for, you know, for the lockers, for this, for this uh, crew, uh, he was mentioning you could possibly use panel line accent color. And I, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but that's a brilliant idea. And I think that's what I'm going to try. In the event it it doesn't work out well, I can always use the uh, uh, Windex and remove all the paint and start again. But I, I think it will. Those, uh, yeah, sort of a, a panel line wash on that. I think it, I think it re would really bring those little panels out. Anyway, uh, we do have a rollback. It's very short. It's only about a minute. I think it's a minute and 10 seconds long. I, I was looking at it this morning. And, and all it does is show how we made a mess here. Really, there's nothing special about it. Uh, also, nothing special. There's not going to be, a, I don't think there's going to be any kind of a sunrise this morning. It's cloudy. It started once again. It started out r real early this morning. I thought maybe there'll be a sunrise and then the clouds just rolled in. I did find the walkers yesterday. I haven't done anything with it. You can just barely see them. It, it's so dark and as I used the, the, the expression yesterday, ominous. And it, it was. It was almost like something out of a Alfred Hitchcock movie or something. You know, the sky, the sky was just... Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, but today was better. I, I did actually I did actually see Don and Bridget go by earlier today, so uh, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I should stick them in now or later. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's let's uh, maybe we should roll back and uh, see how we got to this place, and then I'm going to clean everything up and try and get everything adjusted back the way it was, so everything's convenient for me. Uh, let's roll back. I 
Undoubtedly some of you are wondering, why, when I have such a fantastic workshop just right underneath my feet, under the model table, why don't I go down and do my drilling down there? Well, the 2x4s were already upstairs. There was a drill press right here. Uh, yeah, I didn't feel like lugging him all the way down the stairs and then all the way back up. I know it sounds like a big deal, but you know, uh, I'm finding stuff like that a big deal. <laughs> Okay, now I just got to swing it around and do the line on the other end, the same way. Now there's only so many different ways that I can run to the door and give Missy her dog cookie. So if you've seen one, you've pretty much seen them all. Good morning, Good morning Max. Get my door to latch there. Oh the my goodness. We're off to a late start this morning. Yeah. <coughs> I, I thought maybe I'd missed you. I thought maybe I'd missed you. Okay, you have to have your little tickle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's strange smile when she's with me. Do you see the bottom teeth? Yeah, I know. It's that's kind of cute, isn't it? She's trying so hard to smile. And yeah. I I don't ever see that anywhere else. <laughs> okay, here. It's a smile that comes with this one particular type of dog biscuit, <laughs> and I don't have it. <laughs> uh, see you later. Yeah. I the roads are dry, but it's too cold for biking. I did get out yesterday. Did you really? Yes, I did. Yeah. I went out to. Uh, the north perimeter and then turned around. It, it was pretty cold. Are you going today? I might. I'll see how it goes. That was a terrible north wind yesterday, wasn't there? It, it was really, it was really strong. Yeah. Whoa. You must have had to pedal really hard. <laughs> I ran the battery down. <laughs> okay. We'll see ya. Yeah. I want to get biking, but I don't feel like going out in this weather on the bicycle. <laughs> Well, spring is coming. I'm, I'm thinking probably about a month from now we're going to be out. Yeah. yeah. It'll be warmer. Yeah. Not this week. It's a cold week coming up, eh? Oh, I didn't notice. It's going to be sunny, but cold. Well, I hope it doesn't snow. No, I, there's not much snow in the forecast at all. <laughs> okay. Do Thank you, mind, you, Ron. Do you mind being on YouTube? No. Just, it'll increase your readership. I think so, yeah. <laughs> well, like I say, there's only so many different ways that I can do this. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the model table here. I got a bit of a dilemma on my hands. And that is I can't find a part. I am missing a piece here. I've spent about 10 minutes looking for it. And this is still possibly stuck on the sprue. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Okay, the piece that I am missing is this one right here. Uh, when I was looking at the manual earlier, I had thought that this was all the same piece, but it's not. It's, uh, oh, I, stupid me. It's K11. Okay. And that was an honest mistake. I'm not mugging for the camera here. I just I just noticed it right now. Okay, K11. Clearly, I have not got, gotten that off of the screw. Okay. There it is. I don't even need to look, but I can see an 11 right there. And we'll use the heavy duty snippers here. Save our Tamiya. Oh, wrong one. Oh, well, maybe I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> oh, that noise you hear in the background, machine running. 
That's my white microwave. I'm thawing out a cabbage. Cabbage and pizza goes really good together, they say. Well, nobody says that. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This this has to go on here. That, no, now it's all making sense. Okay, I'm just going to clean that up. I, my plan is now to mount uh, little sticks on these so that I can handle the parts uh, while I'm uh, painting them. I'm going to brush paint pretty well everything except the inside of these. Okay, a moment ago when I grabbed these cutters I almost said the name of the person that uh, gave them to me because I know his name. But he wants to be a little bit uh, anonymous and uh, so as I mentioned when I got these these cutters I'm going to respect that but I'm going to have to give these cutters a name and I want to give it a name that probably nobody else has unless your name is Rumpled Stiltskin so we're going to call these Rumple Stiltskin's cutters because when I, whenever I go to grab a particular tool like for instance I will say Chris's file, or, or Chris's alligator clips, or Tony's tweezers, or Mr. T's poking device. Um, you know, I, I don't know, I, I just sort of, uh, I just automatically do that. So I'm going to, when I grab these, I'm going to say, we'll use Rumpelstiltskin's cutters. You know what? I think Rumpelstiltskin is a little bit of a mouthful. We'll just call them Rumples for short. So from now on these are Rumples cutters. Oh, one more thing. You'll notice on the uh, on on these little bunk beds here, one side has got the simulated bedding and the other side is flat. So what I'm going to have to do is when I glue my sticks on. I want to make sure I don't glue them on the wrong side because, uh, you know, unless you're watching closely, they, they look very, yeah, okay. You get the idea. Okay, I have what you might call handles on most of the stuff. But these little parts here are going to be pretty hard to fasten handles onto. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them because uh, I think that they they should be painted a different color other than uh, other than what they are actually going to be mounted on. Now now some of them like for instance this this one right here is the is the seat for the stool. Well, clearly I can put a little handle on the bottom because we're not going to see the bottom. And and possibly the legs for the stool, I can hang on to one leg. <laughs> but some of these other little pieces, I don't know, they're like, like this one right here. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. It looks like it's supposed to be a little valve or something. We'll be looking at that probably with the macro lens later. Anyway, um, got a call about, oh, 10 minutes ago right now. I'm going to be getting a coffee visitor very shortly. So I'm going to have to uh, wind her up here. But first, <laughs> you probably knew that was coming. I think there is 116 calories in this little piece of pizza here. Yeah, we're back to that again. I'm, my hope is to try and have the weight down to under 200 pounds by the time the new motorcycle comes. At least that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, uh, this, this is only good for about, uh, I'm guessing, four bites here. I can cut it like this. Cut it like this. Okay. I, I took this out of the microwave maybe a few minutes ago.
Thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we're gonna see you tomorrow. <laughs>